I really want to talk about the question that everybody asks me, and that is, how do you think these things up? My answer is, I really start with the question, what would happen if? So what would happen if I mixed those two colors together? Or what would happen if I slathered on a whole bunch of paint and gesso and took a garden trowel and made lines with it? And then what would happen after I did that if I hosed it down? And then after that, what would happen if I dripped paint down all the little furrows that were created with the trowel? But I'm also inspired by things that aggravate me. For example, I did a collage called Contains Milk. And in that, I have packets of non-dairy creamer where on the back it says Contains Milk. So I did a whole collage and it ended up looking like a big trash heap. And then if you stand far enough away from it, it looks a bit like an atomic mushroom cloud. My connection to nature is really my sense of, of just um, feeling that I'm part of everything. I'm joyful, and that really is what inspires me to um, pull together colors that reflect what I've seen or where I've been or how I'm feeling at the moment. Like my painting, Surprise, it might look like a forest or it might look like something burning. I'm also asked if I think in color, if I have a, the synesthesia effect, and uh, my answer is yes. Um, you know, different. If you give me a number like four, to me it's yellow. If you give me an eight, it's brown. If you talk to me about your feelings, I can tell you if you're in a blue mood or if you're red with anger. I'm very, um, very synesthetic, as, as the word might be, or kinesthetic. I get stuck occasionally, and then I just put that painting away and start another one. Every now and then I will go through some of my old paintings looking for canvases that I might want to paint over, and I discover, oh, gee, I actually liked that one. I was just kind of waiting for me to catch up with the ability to properly analyze it. So things I did five years ago were actually a pretty good basis for a good painting, but I didn't know that five years ago, and I didn't know where to go with it. Even though I call myself a contemporary and abstract artist, my real title should be experimental painter.